With Disney Now, we, we targeted our largest platforms first. So we launched on, on Roku, iOS devices, Apple TV, um, and Android. And then are targeting Android TV, Fire TV, and web later in the year. And it, and it was really like we, we didn't have enough engineering to do everything at once. So we really had to prioritize what we wanted to do to get a great experience. And it, and it goes back to um, what you were just saying, that we want to have a very good experience, an immersive experience. Um, but, but I think it kind of goes back to you know, early days when new devices started coming out. There was a point where I think everyone kind of felt like they had to be on everything. And some devices didn't work out. I mean, I did a sprint to get on Google TV um, when, I, when I was at Turner, and it you know, didn't go anywhere. Um, so I think companies started being a lot more selective of where do I invest my money. And I, I feel like media in general is a little bit more cautious now of like, is this going to be a thing or is it not going to be a thing? And it's, I think TVs, the smart TVs, are get a little bit late in getting a lot of these apps because it's just more difficult to develop for them. And everyone's trying to figure out if they're going to be a true thing, if people are going to use them or keep using connected devices. Um, but you know, from our perspective, we want to be everywhere our kids are. So um, you know, we'll, we'll keep growing our platforms as well. Our priorities have this year have really just been about being, you know, everywhere, um, and we're, you know, now close to achieving that goal with the addition of smart TVs later this year. But we are on all the major platforms. Um, but from here, for us, it's much more about seeing where we're looking at the data and seeing where we're getting adoption. It's also about acquiring uh, user data and, and being able to leverage that data for monetization, for improved services, for personalization, which you talked a little bit about. So wherever we have partners that allow us to, uh, to, to capture data and wherever we're able to use that data effectively is where we make choices. Roku's actually been a great example of a partner where in less than four months, we had a million downloads on Roku. And that's largely because Roku worked really well with us to help us get there. And we're seeing much longer time, session times on Roku. So we're going to continue, for example, to invest in Roku because the data is telling us that our consumer really likes to find us there. Um, so you know, it's a little bit of an of a, you know, um, iterative process for us. Uh, next year, I think a, a big part of it is going to be about um, enhancing the video experience itself. Right now, we're a very linear product, so we're great for watching linear TV in an app. Uh, but we don't toggle elegantly between linear content and short form digital content. So that's something that we're looking to next year to make our products more sticky. Uh, we, you know, we, want, we want lots of different types of content, so not just being able to deliver a television experience, but to deliver a video viewing experience uh, to a particular customer and knowing about that customer is where our priority lies.